how to transfer your crypto assets from a Binance account to a trust wallet. I assume that you have your Binance and trust wallet accounts set up. If you don't, I'll leave links in the description to videos that go through all of that and full tutorials. But for now, we'll get the assets in our trust wallet that we actually want to receive. And I'll show you how exactly to transfer them. The first thing we need to do in Trust Wallet is to find the token that we want to deposit from our Binance. Now, this is simply just withdrawing from one platform like Binance and receiving it into another platform like Trust Wallet. This can work on any exchange and wallet setup. So the first thing in Trust Wallet is we need to find the asset that we want to deposit. So you might have a different list than this when you set up your Trust Wallet. You can easily find assets by going to the top right hand corner and clicking this, and then you can search for assets that you want to deposit. So just search for whichever one that you need. So for example, if you type BNB in here, you can see there's a bunch of different versions. You have BNB, the second one down. This is the BEP2 version. So that's the Binance Chain version. If you're using the Binance Smart Chain or the BNB Smart Chain, then you want Smart Chain at the top. They're both called BNB on Binance, so it depends which chain you want to use. Most people will want to use the Binance Smart Chain, and so you just choose BNB Smart Chain right here. If you're looking for another type of asset, for example, Ethereum, if you have ETH, that's right here, as you can see. If you have Polygon Matic or something else, you can just search for it and it's gonna show you, uh, you know, the most popular token. So Polygon Matic for the proof of stake chain, uh, ETH over ZK EVM. So really you need to choose the asset and you need to know which chain it's on. So another example here is US dollar Tether. You can see that US dollar Tether is on a bunch of different chains, right? You've got USDT on the BNB smart chain. You've got it on Ethereum. You've got it on Polygon, Arbitrum, Avalanche. So you need to make sure that whichever chain that you want to use, you're clicking on the asset for that chain. Some assets are on multiple chains. So just to make sure that, you know, you're choosing the chain that you want. So let's use an example of US dollar Tether. BNB uh, smart chain it's on here, which is BEP20 and ERC20, which is the Ethereum chain. So we're gonna press done because both of these are toggled on. So just toggle on the assets that you want. And what you should see is that those assets come up in your asset list right here. I have uh, US dollar Tether on the Binance chain. You can see Binance peg and you can see Tether USD. This is on Ethereum as well. You can see top left, it says ERC20, which is the Ethereum token standard. Once you've chosen an asset that you want to receive from your Binance, you can now check the receive address to make sure that it's the right token. So as an example here on Tether, top left, it says ERC20, which should be the Ethereum version. What we can do is on the top right, you should see this chart icon. I'm going to click this and it's gonna give me the details right here. I can check that this is the asset that I actually want. You can see the website here is Tether, which is the official website. The Explorer is Etherscan. And then down at the bottom, you can see view on coin market cap. Press this one and you can check that it is the correct token. You should be able to see all of the details of this token to make sure that it is the correct token. So Tether is, I think, number three in the world. So you can check those, uh, you know, all of those details. For smaller tokens as well, just make sure that it's the correct token because you could have fake tokens on a a wallet app like Trust Wallet because it's decentralized. So make sure it's the right token. Uh, then what we can see is on the Explorer on Etherscan, you can press this and just make sure it is the correct token on the blockchain Explorer that you're using. So max total supply is 37 billion. There's four and a half thousand holders. So this is obviously the correct token. Once we've done that, we can go and press receive and we get our deposit address. Depending on which asset you choose, your address might be different. So simply go into your trust wallet and copy this address right here and then use the chain that you want. So if you want your Tether on Ethereum, you can choose that chain when withdrawing. If you want Tether on the BNB smart chain, press receive here. And actually the address is exactly the same across all EVM chains like BNB smart chain, uh, Ethereum, Polygon Matic, your address will be the same. Some other chains, your address will be different. That doesn't matter, just copy this address. Now you can also press deposit from exchange to actually just go through to your application. So if you press this, you can see right now on BNB Smart Chain, I can deposit from my Binance account. What this is gonna do if I press this, it's just gonna open my Binance app, go through Face ID, and then automatically go through that transfer. So if you don't wanna do any of the other process, just put the amount of uh, USDT that you want to withdraw, $100 or anything like that. Then you can press continue right here and go through with that. 
uh, and just press continue and pay the blockchain fee. So all of that is automatically input for you. Now, what you can see here is that it is using the BNB smart chain network. Uh, and so we have to make sure that that is the chain that we want it on in our trust wallet. If you don't, then choose the asset that is on the chain that you want. Ethereum, Avalanche, Polygon, whatever. This one is using BNB smart chain. So choose the amount that you want to withdraw, press continue, check those details. Everything is okay. You will pay a small blockchain fee here. Press continue and make that withdrawal. And that will automatically go from your Binance app straight into your trust wallet address. If that option isn't available for you or you just want to check this manually, you can do this as well. So get your deposit address up in Trust Wallet, press copy, and then go through to your Binance account. So I'm just in the spot account right here. And what I'm going to do is search for US dollar tether, press US dollar tether, and then you have all of these options. So we're going to withdraw that from Binance and we are going to send via crypto network. So click this. And that's going to give us these options. So what I'm going to do is paste in the address right here that I just copied from my trust wallet and then go through to network. Now you'll see that the network isn't automatically selected because I'm using an EVM address. And so I could send this on a bunch of different networks. So you can click these and we have some supported networks right here. BNB Smart Chain, AVAX C Chain, Arbitrum One, Ethereum Optimism, as you can see. You just need to make sure that when you're sending to trust wallet, you're sending it over the network that you want to keep that asset on because in Trust Wallet, you hold it on the blockchain. So if you want to use an application like PancakeSwap, then you need to make sure that your asset is on the correct chain. We're going to choose BNB Smart Chain here. Choose the amount that you want to withdraw, any amount, and then just go from Spot Wallet because you probably have it in your Spot Wallet and then just go and withdraw that. Check the details, you'll pay a small bit of gas and that will be sent and withdrawn from Binance over to your trust wallet using the chain that you choose. A key tip here is that if you are withdrawing an asset to your trust wallet address on a specific chain, you also need the gas token on that chain in order to use the other tokens. So in this example, I used Tether USD. This is not a native asset, it's not the gas token on any chain. So as an example, the Binance peg, this is on the Binance smart chain. This tether, if you want to use it in any way, you need to pay gas to send it or interact with smart contracts. So on the Binance smart chain, we are also going to need to send some BNB to the uh, same address so that we can use the tether. So you absolutely need BNB. So we're going to go to smart chain here. We're going to go to receive. And this is our address right here. So what we can do is deposit from exchange again or just copy this address. I'll choose deposit from exchange to show you. We're going to deposit from Binance. So we'll go over to the application. It's just going to load up these details for me. So if you're using an asset right here that isn't the gas token, you won't be able to send it anywhere until you get the gas token on there. So BNB Smart Chain uses BNB token. If you're on Ethereum, you need ETH. If you're on Avalanche, you need AVAX, etc. So your token is going to be tied up unless you have this gas token. So you need some of that as well to pay for gas fees. You can also check the links down in the description for helpful videos and some deposit and trading bonuses to Binance, Bybit and other exchanges. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.